Uy, no invitas. Pero está quedando muy bien allá atrás, ¿verdad? Hay que aprovechar mañana temprano también, antes de que empiece a hacer más calor. Ahí te encargo la sede, Silvia. I'm going to do two beads because one at the cuticle area for the fill and then another one to rebalance out the shape because when I file them, I'm going to make sure they grow out straight. We don't want them humping down like lima beans. Lexi Lu to you uh, said, going over to the website, I'll be right back. Let me know what you think of the new website, my love, too. So when you're applying acrylic at the cuticle area, it's super important to angle the nail down. Why? Because gravity is going to do the work for you, mama. The acrylic will run away from the cuticle, not into it, so that way you can work faster. Because remember, you guys, time is money. And this section, she's got to go to the club. She's got to go shake it. I do. You know what movie I can't wait to go see? It's The Little Mermaid. Well, that should be coming out soon, right? Yeah, next month. Oh, we're at 5.8K likes. Yes, come through, you guys. Tap that screen. Let's get to 20,000. I'm not a big fan of Melissa McCarthy, but from the previous I've seen of her as Carrie Allen Persona, she looks like she brought it. The new site is much smoother than Natasha JJ516. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad you love it. I appreciate that. We put a lot of work into it on behind the scenes. And it's been a project that we've been working on for a little over three months. What is the playlist? I keep tapping the screen to the beat. So it is Euromix. So it's like 90s, early 90s, late 80s, like Euro dance club music. But I also um, change the speed. So that way it goes faster. So that way the video won't get the monetizer taken down. A little mermaid. Me too. And the girl that plays Vanessa looks just like Vanessa in the cartoon. I think that's why people are so upset with Ariel. I think this is more like instead of a remake, it's more like a reimagining is how you have to look at it. Too. Yeah. But uh, the girl that's playing Vanessa looks just like Vanessa in the cartoon too. And surprisingly, she has a pretty big like fan base of Vanessa. I was older when I found out who Vanessa was. Who's Vanessa? Ursula as a human. Oh, I did not know that either. I was older when I found and out. And I love Little Mermaid. And I, Little Mermaid has the best music out of any Disney movie. I love movie. Little Mermaid. It's, it's definitely like one of my like top favorites. And I think the girl that's gonna play Ariel, Halle Bailey, I think she's so pretty. Like she's so fresh faced and young and cute, and um, she has a really good singing voice too. She was actually discovered by Beyonce. Beyonce has everything. She is. She's got her finger in everything, huh? And that money. Discovering artists, money, honey. tours. So technically, it's like Beyonce is a little mermaid if you think about it. Yeah. Because she discovered her. She's like the RuPaul for uh, for uh, new, new up and coming uh, celebrities. I wonder if she signed her on to a label or something. Yeah, her and her sure, sister right? are a duo. But can you imagine how hard that must be to know your sister's gonna be the Little Mermaid, like yeah. the biggest movie ever, and you're stuck in the back. But she has to do something. <laughs> Burritos, like, but that's the good kind of jealousy, though. I think, even though there is no such thing as good kind of jealousy, I would be like, I mean, if somebody said, "Oh, you're gonna be so and so," I'd be like, "Oh, what about me?" <laughs> like, if somebody said my brother was gonna be a Power Ranger, I'd be jealous. I'd be furious. I'd be happy for him, <laughs> but I would punch a wall. <laughs> like, I would break a plate or something. I would be pissed, but I would be happy for him too. Didn't her sister just come out in a gospel movie? Maybe, but I mean. She's gonna be the little mermaid. She's gonna be Ariel. Like, yeah. you can't top that. So now let's uh, shape these phalanges. So we're gonna do a coffin moment. So when you're filing, instead of filing at a straight angle like this, we're gonna file in a V formation. Like Beyonce says, formation. See, it all goes back to Queen B. Formation. So in a V formation like this, the taper in the nail. But you know what song I hate? And what singer I loathe? And it's so catchy, the song. The Body Shop. Doing something unholy. You don't like that song? I don't like Sam Smith, aka Miss We are at 9.2 likes. But that song is catchy though. It is catchy. Let's see what the camera looks like you can sing. I don't know. <laughs> Miley Cyrus too looks like she would smell that. <laughs> Doesn't she look like she would smell? I like don't know. patchouli and like sweat. <laughs> That's what I imagine Miley Cyrus smells like. I miss Miley Cyrus when she was crazy and like on like really hard narcotics. Okay. That was my favorite Miley Cyrus. I, her there. bangers! I liked her bangers she, era. She might get there again. Well, this last song that she came out with was pretty good. The Flowers? Yeah. But it's not as like upbeat as bangers. Well, because she's depressed. Well, she can get over it. She'll be fine. She's depressed. She's what is she depressed about? Did they get married? Yeah, it's about her husband and how 
like he how they just like their marriage just like fell apart. Well, that's her fault for marrying a cheater, because yeah. he cheated on her once. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Facts. So she brought that upon herself. Facts. Uh, I remember being the Little Mermaid for Halloween when I was a kid many years ago. Really? Were you serving it? Were you living? And do you know the original the Little Mermaid was actually based off Alyssa Milano? Really? Yeah, if you think about it, you're like, it kind of does look like Alyssa it Milano does. a little bit. It does. The guy that drew Ariel was a big fan of Alyssa, Alyssa, Alyssa Milano. Alyssa Milano is a Mermaid. I was going to say, she's my era, but then people are going to know. <laughs> you're like, they're the darkest secret. They're going to know that Miss Jackson is really Miss Jackson's age. <laughs> Um, it was based on Alyssa Milano, but they were going to make Ariel blonde. But then Splash came out, oh. and Daryl Hannah was blonde, so like, let's make her redhead. Mm -hmm. But Splash came out in the 80s, and Little Mermaid came out in the early 89. 90s. Oh, 89? I thought I was going to say early 90s. November 89, so pretty much. Mm -hmm. And then Ursula is based off Divine. You know who Divine is? No. A drag queen that was in Hairspray. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's who yes. Ursula was inspired by. And now as an adult, I recently heard um, Four Unfortunate Souls. I was like, darn, her so that she's got, she's something else. She's yeah. looking nice. No. Because she's like, men don't like a woman that talks a lot and this and that and use your body language. And I was like, Ursula, she knows what's up. And she would like Shake her big old titties. Yes, dude. I was like, wow, get it, Ursula. Well, she knew what she was talking about. Yeah, because she was like, Ariel was like. That's how she had all those souls like, trapped up down there. Ariel's like, how am I supposed to talk to him? She's yeah. like, you don't need to talk. You got, you got a pretty face. Mm -hmm. And don't forget body language. That's all you need. And apparently it's pretty much... But it worked. It works. Even to this day. It worked. You got a pretty face and got body I need language. To go to, I need to go to Ursula's... Uh, <laughs> okay. I need to go to Ursula's yeah, layer so I could uh, get some pointers. She's like, I'll help you out. So now let's get those sides nice and snatched. Face got her a prince and a castle. What else does she need? And the body language. Yeah. Shoot. I need a prince and a castle. She's like, he didn't care what you sounded like or what you said. He was like, eh. And for real, like he picked her up from the ocean and he like moved her in right away. Yeah. He maybe he was needy. He was lonely. He was lonely and needy. Uh Miss Tra Miss Miss Tracy. Looking amazing. Thank you, love. We are snatching up the Falangi fantasy today, making it right, making it tight. 12.6 likes. Well, come on, you guys, tap that screen. Who's gonna win at the end of the video? Do you still smell monomer even with the cotton candy scent? Yes, we have two monomers on our website. We have Pink Magic, which is our fast dry, and then the cotton candy monomer, which is our original, a uh, normal setting monomer, which is still available. Often imitated, never duplicated. Hello, Sandy from Stafford. I Hi. Made my nails. Hi Sandy, long time no see. I hope you're staying out of trouble. I hope the boys are just keeping them in check. Because I know the boys love them from Sandy. Would you do like a blind dating show now that they're like so popular now? No. No? Love is blind or what's the I'm other gonna one? I'm going to tell you what, dating as an older person is ridiculous. I hate every minute of it. Do you like older men or younger men? Um, I don't know, I don't care. I think it's just as long as they're cool, you know, but... Do you have a type? I do have a type and it does not work, so... Because now people are scared to talk about their type because they're like, they don't want to offend anybody, but... Like, I there's nothing wrong with I having a type. I definitely have a type. And, and do you know what? Like, every single time I, like, stray that way, mm -hmm. like, it crash and burns. Awful. That bad? Uh, the, Sandy said, everyone is good. Thank you. Boys are doing good. How is your granddaughters? Your grandbabies? Yeah, it's, it's bad out there. I'm, I'm cool. And then there's a lot of crazies out there. Yes, a lot of weirdos. A lot of weirdos. You know, during the pandemic, like everything was like shut down. And so, like, I was like, okay, like, I'm gonna try like a online, like, dating, you know, so I can meet people. Because mm -hmm. couldn't really go anywhere, right? So, like, meet people. Horrible. Horrible. Horrible all around. So there was this meme that I saw that said, if I want to try online dating uh, and waste my time, I'll just call tech support or something like that. Yes, it's legit that. Um, which bit are you using? I'm using, her name is Miss Superstar Girl Bit, and this is available at emailfortour.com. And this bit does it all. And you guys will see, I use this to clean the inside of the nail. I use it to refine the shape on top. It just does everything. It's so incredible. It works for any medium as well, to acrylic, gels, 
happy gels, anything. Poly type products. Sandy has 28 grandkids. Oh my gosh. 28 grandkids? <gasps> Send you good vibes for your dating life. You will find him. Yeah, maybe. It's fine. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> Those nails are going to look so good when that. Yes. 20, I can't get over 28 kids. 20 grandkids. Yes. And I think nowadays, in America, the construct of like a, a monogamous relationship, people find that toxic now. People don't. They're don't. like, you want just one person? Like, oh no, I need like multiple partners at that the same is, time. That's like, ridiculous. I don't know. Those are social constraints. And like, well, why do you want to have to have your cake and eat it too? What? Then I feel like those kind of relationships don't last that long. The Alex is clean. It's late to the party. That's all right. You Better made late it. than pregnant. You made it. <laughs> no, nobody has to be. Oh, I don't know, maybe so. And the South Korean government wants you to be pregnant. Let's see. We're at 14.4 likes. Come on, you guys, tap that screen. Let's get to 20,000. And at the end, Ms. Jackson's going to pick a winner winner chicken dinner. There's no respect or love in relationships anymore. Agreed. Super vapid. Would you go all the way on the first date? No. No? No. The second one? No. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Definitely not the first one. Because then you become too easy, huh? Yes. Daddy, you don't know what you're going to get. That's like, come on, man. Like, there's a lot of things out there that you can catch. Even if you're careful. That you need to pen the for. I'm, like, super picky about everything, let alone, like... But what if you, like, you wait till, like, the second or third day, and then you see it, and you're like, oh, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, bye. <laughs> really? You're a size queen? <laughs> Goodbye. I have been with, my, with the same man my soulmate for going on 12 years. Oh, wow. that's amazing. Congratulations. That's respect. Respect to you all. Do you like him tall or short? Tall. Very tall. Yeah. yeah. Over six feet. Yeah. What's the middle of six, one, six, two? Well, I, I mean, I, I like a, a tall person, gentleman. a tall gentleman, but if... Uh, I don't know if I, if I met somebody that was shorter than that would be Someone that was like 5'11", 6 feet. Yeah, like, oh, okay. I have to make an effort. I have to sacrifice. <laughs> would you date somebody that goes by, like, that would be like non-binary or like them, they? I mean, if they're nice to me and they, mm. you know, I mean, it's... People, people are all come, you know, all shaped. Yeah, like if he's rich, years. if he's going to die soon, then why not? <laughs> Everybody has a type. What about older? I mean, if they're nice and good looking, they could be my sugar daddy, absolutely. Your zaddy, isn't that what the girls yes, on Instagram yes, were saying? Yes. Your zaddy. All about personality. Yeah, as long as they have a good personality and they treat you good. You How know? many, what kind of car you drive? Uh, that's like, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's all stuff that when you're younger, like, you know. My mom says that when she met my dad. They went to the nightclub because that was like where you would meet people back in the days at discotheques, right? Uh -huh. And then she says her and her friends were pulling up and she's like, oh, look, there's a, I think it was a Mustang or a Corvette. And she's like, I'm going to dance with that guy. And guess what it was? It was my dad. Yeah? Yeah, when he was good looking. And the next day he's like, do you want to go to um, Kino or something like that? And she was like, okay. But she had to go with the chaperone because back in the day, you yeah. had to go with your chaperone. I've scared off lots of guys when they ask me what are you looking for, I say a husband. Uh, I send them running when they find out I'm on dialysis. Oh my gosh. That's not nice. No, that's terrible. But at least you're honest about that though. Yeah. So props to you, get rid of them now. Why waste your time, you know what I mean? I think I just scare men off in general because I'm very like... Because um, of that big booty? <laughs> no, I think they like a big booty. They're intimidated by it. <laughs> I think that uh, they're intimidated by my uh, very independent personality. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that like, men don't like that. They want somebody that's more submissive. Yeah, like they want somebody that's just gonna... You're like, you need to go back in time for and that, I'm sir. like, you know what? I'm not the one. You're like, you need to go back in time if you want those kinds of women. <laughs> Would you be offended if they asked you to pay for your, like, on your first date, like a meal or something, go Dutch? No, because then, like, you know, I don't feel like I would have to owe them anything. If anything, like, you know, I, I've, like, offered, right? Because I don't want to, like, feel like, I don't want to have them feel like they're entitled to anything else. Because they pay for a meal? Right. Really? Is that how, like, petty guys are nowadays? Yes. For buying a meal, you're like, okay, you gotta put out now? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Really? Yes, but I'm like, nah, man, I got my stuff, thanks. And like, are they taking you somewhere nice or like chilies? It depends. It depends who it 
it. But even if they take you to Chili's and they still expect you to put out? I mean, I haven't had that experience, <laughs> but like, people are petty. Wow. Mm -hmm. I have seen a TikTok of this guy, he was like, trying to take this girl home, and she was like, I'm fine. And he's like, but I took you out. It's like, I paid for your meal. And she was like, thank you, but like, what do you expect? Right. That's terrible. It's terrible. Terrible. Okay, we're at 15.3. Oh, come on, you guys, I can taste the giveaway. We're so close. Wow, nobody wants to take me out. Nobody wants to buy me even hamburger stand. Poor dog. <laughs> hamburger stand. 49th and hamburgers. Poor Max. But that's okay. When I was in Korea, my friends were like, oh, aren't you sad, like, being single? And, like... No. I was like, no. I was like, look at you two. One of you has a relationship, and you cheat on him all the time. And the other one, when he broke up with his girlfriend, he got depressed, like, clinically depressed, and had to get on medication. Yeah, no. I was like, why would I want to put myself in that boat? No, not at all. There's a saying in Spanish, it's solo nací, solo me voy a morir. Yeah, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll take you out. What do you friend, look like? Friend 026. What do you look I'll like? I'll take you out. What's your credit score? Do you have a 401k? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like, uh, I like barbecue. I like some steak. Will you take me to go have some nice steak? The last time we were here, you were asking somebody else for steak. Really? Yes. I love meat. And I had the worst steak in my life at the Gucci restaurant in Korea. It was disgusting. She said, yes, I do, and I do nails, too. Ooh. Do you have long legs? I love a pair of long legs, like a gazelle. <laughs> so you're a leg person. I am. I love a good leg man. I am a leg man. My brother's an ass man, though. Yeah? Yes. Both of his, like, uh, his long-term relationships have been with women with big booties. But I love long legs. Hence round face, that's why he's got that round little body. I have a leg sleeve. What's it's a leg sleeve? pretty cute. I don't know what a leg sleeve is. Oh, a tattoo! Like a leg, oh. like a, a sleeve, like a tattoo. So I'm using my pink cuticle scissors right now to go in and trim, trim, trim. Very carefully, just any excess dry, non-living tissue. How many siblings do you have, Max? Um, my dad has four from his first marriage. And with my mom, there's two. So technically there's six of us, but um, I grew up with just my brother because the other ones are a lot older. So, and they live in a different state, so I didn't really grow up with them. But um, when I was a baby, like they would take care of me and things like that too. Like my mom says that they would change my hair because they were so much older than me. Like that, so clean and fresh now. Well, we're at 17.2 light. Oh, come on you guys, we can do it. We're gonna go in with our gels. So the first one we're gonna use is our blossom gel or our blooming gel, which is fun gel 001 that I have here somewhere. Here it is. We're gonna do a really thin coat over the whole nail. So that way we can spread the colors out. Now I always tell people you don't need anyone to make yourself feel special. No. You do that yourself. Nobody should make you feel any more or any less of a person. It's all psychological. And with blossom gels, you guys, I personally don't like to apply them all the way to the end, to the sides of the nail. I leave a little bit of space because since I'm going to go in with the colors and they spread out with this product, I like to leave that space so that way it won't whiten up the nail. You want to keep the nails looking skinny and mini. We're at 18.2. You can do it, you guys. Come on, tap, tap, tap. You know what I hate too about those kinds of situations? Small talk. I loathe small talk. <laughs> like, what do you do? What's your favorite color? Yeah, no, like, it's too much. Especially after like an age, I totally like can see what you mean. It's like, oh. Yeah, I, I'm okay. I'm okay about myself. Like, I go out, I have fun, I do what I gotta do, but you know what? Like, I'm... It is what it is, yeah. as they say. Yeah. Does your mom say, oh, I need to find somebody? Ah, uh, no, like she's... She knows what kind of guys are out now. Yeah, she's like, she's cool with it. Like she, she doesn't really care. Did your ex find somebody? Yes. Oh, did he marry? No, he or didn't did, remarry. But, but he's he like living? Somebody. He's living in sin. Yes. yes. Are you guys cool or no? No, we're not. Oh, None of us are cool with Really? Yeah. Oof, thank God they live on the other side yeah, of the world. That's okay. That's good. 
So the colors we're going to use, you guys, I have them already on my tiara palette, but I'm going to go over them really quickly with you, so that way um, you have this for reference, so that way nobody asks again. So the orange is BB-164 from the Halloween collection. The Tiffany's blue is a Fun Gel 134 from Supergirl. The white is Gel Polish 001. The like kind of like Mediterranean blue is 186 from Playmate, also from Fun Gel. And the gold glitter is Coffee Latte 144, also from Fun Gel. We're at 20! Yay, that means the Kraken has been released and at the end of the video, we're gonna do a live giveaway. So we're gonna go in, I'm gonna use my liner brush, my vegan four pack, and we're going to add a little bit of this orange with Fantasia. Oh, in September, I might go to Mexico City again. Oh yeah? Yeah, so that way you can go. When is that um, I don't know. Because it's my great aunt's 90 something of a birthday. Oh, wow. The one that was an actress? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. she says that she's still in her 70s. Hey, if she feels 70, well. I felt so bad when we went in February. We saw her for like an hour only. Because we went to lunch and she was a little bit late. And then, like, as, like we didn't even finish our meal because we had to go see the musical. Oh, yeah, that's and right. And she was like, You guys are leaving? You're like, Yeah, we have a musical. We're sorry. We'll see you in a few months. <laughs> Please don't die. Oh, no. <laughs> so now we're going to go in with like this beautiful Mediterranean blue. It's talking about how um, um, her and her partner moved a lot, but then ended up finding each other. Moved a lot? How? Like uh, with my different people? Of my fiance of 12 years was my first kiss. Really? We were 11 years old. Oh my gosh! How are doors is that? And now they're like engaged. But make sure you get a prenup, honey. Yes. You gotta be smart. What's yours is yours, and what's his is yours. Yes. Like the state of California, that place would be horrible to get married in. <laughs> Even for women too. Because one of the real hospice, she's like, if I get divorced right now, her husband was in hospice, she would have to pay alimony to him in hospice. Like he's dying and she would have to pay uh, alimony. Nice. I was like, wow, what a great state. What great laws they have in, in California. 20, 22. Like, yes, 22. keep liking you guys, keep sending. At the end of the video, Miss Jackson is going to pick the winner winner chicken dinner. And remember, you guys, it is picked at random, too. We, we do a scrolly and stop. And she picks, I have nothing to do with who wins. Oh, I love this, like, Mediterranean blue moment. And then a little bit of gold. from Coffee Latte from Fungia. <laughs> What's so funny? The song, the guy's like singing all fast. It's like scam music almost, huh? <laughs> Give me Little Mermaid vibes. Yes. yes, Mediterranean. I said it was like a, kind of like a beta fish. Tail. Next now, clean your brush. So what did you buy at the Pokemon store? All those Pokemon cards. You see? Oh, uh, I see. Those, and then I have some more that I put up here too. To expand my ever-growing collection. You're gonna need a whole, like, museum. It's an investment, is what I tell my uh, portfolio manager. I love this set, and it's so freestyle and fun. And so easy to replicate too, you guys. And you can do this design in pretty much any color and have fun with it. That's the most important part about nail art. It's having fun. I think people forget to have fun when they're doing nails and then they like overthink it and it's not fun anymore. Max has been doing freestyle on my nails for lots of years. How old is Vince? 15. So like 16, 17 years almost? Yeah, about 17 years. That's crazy that we've known each other 17 so years, Max. And you don't age. You get like, you're like one, you get uh, better with thank age. You. And me, I am like, uh, I reverse. I'm like Benjamin Button. No, you look great. Next time, in the next 17 years, I'm just going to be a fetus. <laughs> You're going to go to Korea to get so <laughs> I'm like, can you make Ron, me... Ron, do you have the fetus? 
I'm gonna tell the doctor, can you make me an embryo? I just wanna be really young. <laughs> <laughs> That's how, long, how young I want to look though. That is the best thing I've heard all day. I want to look like a fetus. <laughs> Please. And just gonna put a picture of Jesus and be like, he's the only one that can help you. Uh, you're sticking your head in the camera again. I'm sorry. No, I'm just wiping the sides to remove any excess so we can keep the shape nice and skinny mini. And also, you guys, when you're working with blooming gels, don't over swirl the designs because remember, the gel has a little bit back here. Ooh, 25k. Whoa, come through, Pink Army. Have you ever seen the show Absolutely Fabulous from England? No. No, you've never seen it? You need to check it out. It's like an older sitcom, but it is the funniest thing ever. It's about these two alcoholic rich ladies that work in PR in England. And she's like, I just need things. I need beautiful things. Like, she's <laughs> she's rich, uh, rich decorating her kitchen, and she's like, I just want it to look like things, like pretty things. Like, you know that dish at the dentist? Like that. I want it to look like that dish you spit in. I just want it to look... <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm gonna feather it really lightly around the cuticle and down so that way it is really seamless. So our trip to Thailand is gonna take two weeks just to get there. I already told you you're gonna you're gonna when you buy your yacht teleport. You gonna, oh yeah. Me tips and bubblegum gel. Awesome. Did you go on the new website? Did you take advantage of that 30% off sale? I think they were the one that was going to leave and go to the website. Oh, she already did her yeah, shopping? Yeah. She don't waste any time. Yes. Did you like the new website? I think I asked her already, right? Yes. She said yes. I want to go to Vegas. I haven't seen the new website uh, yet. Check out the beta version that's live right now. With what? Yeah, look, the fetus look. <laughs> <laughs> Super sunken in cheeks. Uh, love it. Very easy to order. Awesome. Thank you. I'll go look at it after the live. Set the hot press Um, Great. Can't wait to order. I'm gonna. My my new selfie is gonna be like um. What are those green needle pictures called? An uh, uh, sonogram? An ultra okay. Ultra <laughs> and here is our completed fantasy for today, you guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh, she had twins, she said. We came out so pretty. Look at, they almost have like a 3D effect to them, too. They're gonna grow out so beautifully too because we did the, the marble design almost to the back, but we left a little bit of space so that way it can grow out really beautifully. So sorry. Yes, they are. Beautiful. She is ready. Well, my loves, that's gonna wrap up our little demo for today. Oh, wait, I oh, forgot, you have to okay, pick the winner. Right, hold on, let me, let me scroll. Ready, I'm scrolling, I'm gonna stop. Fat Tuesday, some big Frida nails. Diana2619. Have you won within the last month, Miss Diana? Let us know in the comments below. Woo! Thank you all for... Uh, and do you live in America? Me. Let's see what she says. Da -da 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 -da. You there, Miss Diana? Uh, thank you. No, yes, in America. Yes. Awesome. So go ahead and send an email to info at enocouture.com and let them know you're today's winner, winner chicken dinner.